Hi everybody, Scary Larry here. I got an instructional video for you today. I'm going to show you how to add reverb to your Windows environment. You can add reverb to your Vocubus, to your FCD1, to any application you run. Music, voice, doesn't matter. Once you do what I'm going to show you how to do, you will have a reverb that's on all the time unless you turn it off. You don't have to go out and buy an external reverb. Uh, you, I'm pretty sure this will quench your taste uh, if you if you if you want a reverb so the first thing you do uh, is you go down here on your lower right hand corner where your little speaker icon is and it says speakers 48 percent that's the volume level you normally click on it and it'll you know bring up your speaker and you can raise or lower the volume well if you right click on the speaker itself you'll get this little pop-up box and what you want to do here is you want to click on playback devices now you're going to get a box over here that pops up this shows all your devices that are hooked to your computer some of them might be disabled some of them might be enabled you can disable or enable any of them you want you know at any time by clicking on them but your speakers will most generally be your uh, default playback device and it'll have a little green uh, check mark next to it that means it's default and as you see here it says default device well what you want to do if you want to highlight this just click on it you'll highlight a little darker blue go down here and, and click on properties okay now we have our speaker properties box uh, this shows that uh, my speakers are plugged into the green jack on the back which is speaker left and right so I'm using a, my computer uses a real tech high definition audio driver we don't have to mess with none of that uh, go up here in levels it shows your levels of all your devices you want to click on enchantments now these may or may not be checked off these are the ones I'm going to show you, you want to check you want to check intermediate level make sure that's on uh, environment make sure environments on Go down here and make sure equalizer is on and then scroll down and make sure loudness equalization is on now once you uh, energize this equalizer it'll enable this box down here now this box down here uh, is your equalizer I think you got something turned on here right Hang on, I did something wrong. Let me do this again. Properties, enchantments, intermediate, setting none. Okay, I had, to, I had to go out and come back in again after you check those. Then down here you'll see it says none. You want to click on that and it says uh, generic, padded cell, room, bathroom, living room, stone room, auditorium, concert hall, cave arena hangar carpeted hallway hallway all these different choices you have and each one of those is a different setting for your equalizer now let me uh turn the music on over let me turn music on over here on the voculus i want one more i want to get a channel here where they're talking Find one here where they're talking. And here we meet again beneath the mighty there we go. Tree the okay, now we scroll down here and let's turn on uh, concert hall. Now listen to him. Listen to his voice. And we'll turn it on now. Many colors along the shore. That's reverberation, people. Let me put it on cave. Brand X, brand Y, brand Z, not one six, but 
some of these uh, things give it more reverberation, some of them give it less. Let's try auditorium. No pressure, yet we can lift the egg, even boil it. And the back day plastic slip never comes loose. Maybe you don't want to boil it. I think that gives a little bit more. Let me try arena. That one gives it more, yeah, arena. Yeah, that's none. That's with none. So you see how it works. You see how much reverberation it gives it. So you can basically get reverb with your computer without having to go buy a reverb. All you got to do is go in here, like I just showed you, and turn on the amount of reverb you want. And it works on music, works on everything. Once you turn it on. Finger. There you go. And it'll stay there. It also works, of course, when you've got the vacuous running or the SCD1. I'm going to go to none. Listen to the difference. There it is well. I'm going to leave it off because of course you know I don't like it that well. <laughs> But anyway, once you say okay, it'll stay that way. So that's how you do it, people. If you don't want to go out and spend money for a reverb, but you like the reverb, you, you like to have it on your uh, sessions when you do Vocubus or do uh, uh, SCD1 or whatever, you can do it just like I just showed you. The only drawback to is that you can't adjust how, uh, the amount uh, up or down like you could with a rheostat on or a, a, a control on an on a external reverb, but... By changing those, uh, you know, cave, auditorium, and so forth, those are uh, different amounts of reverb on each different one. So you can find, probably find one in there that you like the sound of, and then you have it. <clears throat> so that is my little demo.